What is happening everyone? Welcome back to G Ball Vision. Today I have for you guys another exciting unboxing to dig into. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I would love to have you here. Before you head out, hit that thumbs up button. I greatly appreciate it everyone. And feel free to let me know what you are carrying in your pockets today down in the comments. So we have a knife from Asher Knives here to check out. This is something I picked up over the weekend. He did have a weekend drop and wow this thing is absolutely beautiful so just in case you are not familiar asher knives is a very small company justin is the owner and he is out of pennsylvania just like i am from here uh so it's always cool to have you know a fellow pennsylvanian uh that is in the community creating something and creating some awesome awesome stuff so this is the spiro and this is going to be a variation of the spiro typically the original spiro came with a drop point blade and now he has basically done other versions off of that knife and has created uh, what he calls a Warncliffe edition, and it is Warncliffe-y. Uh, I would say it kind of sits right in the middle between a Warncliffe and a sheep's foot, just because of how this cants down to the tip. You don't quite have that piercy, pokey tip like a Warncliffe does, but I would say it's a modified version of either or. Either way, it's going to be a fantastic utility style blade you'll be able to get right up on that tip right above the tip for controlled precise type cuts and this bad boy what makes this special is we have s90v we have a stone washed tumble style finish we have this oblong cutout for deployment and the detent is tuned to absolute perfection on this thing and to top it all off putting that little cherry on there baby he went with the silver twill carbon fiber and when that stuff hits the light just right man does it shine uh it's not something i have ever experienced before i've only ever seen this silver twill in pictures or in videos and let me tell you what guys you don't get the full effect until you have this stuff in your hand because uh, the pictures and the video just do not do it justice. This thing is absolutely beautiful. I love the look. I love the feel. And I love how, not that I minded so much just because of the emblem was so clean and i love the look of the emblem but i love how now instead of doing it on the show side of the blade he has moved it to the pivot which i think has only increased the value of the aesthetic i think that was a ve very brilliant move moving that to the pivot the pivot is a perfect location for something like that uh, and you might as well use it and, and keep that show side clean. So I really like that move. Uh, we do have an inset liner lock here. And what that means is the liners are recessed into those scales. And you basically just have a little chamfer here to get to that liner. Just enough to get to that liner. And there is plenty of access there. And he put my favorite combination of all time on that liner. He chamfered it and put some jimping. That is the way, guys. Uh, I am a huge fan of the combination between jimping and a chamfer on the liner. I think that is the future for how, how liners and frame locks should all be done. That is how you should do it right there. Because, and the reason being, if you haven't experienced, you know, a, a good liner or a good lock bar that has a chamfer and jimping on it, it's just comfortable, it's grippy, it's just, it makes it so much easier and so much more pleasant. It's like a chamfer on steroids, basically. Uh, it, I, I love it. You'll have to let me know down in the comments if that's also something you enjoy. It's just little things like that that really... Uh, make a, a knife for me go from really good to great. Uh, and 
I think that really, you know, fine details like that really take knives over the top for me. We have a deep carry wire pocket clip there, and it will be reversible. We have a geared carbon fiber backspacer uh, matching with the scales. Nice and flush there as well. Man, this thing is clean. You have one body screw there, one body screw there. You have a non-told pivot here, told side here, and then you just have the pocket clip screw, which is, that is awesome. This is a clean, clean looking design. Uh, I think I almost, I love the original Spiro, uh, but this uh, Warncliffe edition really takes this thing over the top. This is... This thing is nice, and he has been able to make little tweaks on these things, uh, increase the detent strength, just really making these exceptional, guys. And for the price point, at like, uh, I think, 130 maybe. Don't quote me on it, but I think that's about where they were sitting. And to get S90V, uh, silver twill, carbon fiber, this kind of build quality, small batch production, uh, to get it at that price point, that is absolutely insane to me. Uh, that is kind of going over the top. And I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, how does Asher keep his prices so low? And this, that, and the third. And I, you know, I don't know uh, I don't know Justin personally, uh, and I don't know, but my theory and my guess is he's not trying to get rich off any one design. He's not trying to get rich off one knife. Uh, so he, you know, he probably makes enough to stay in business and make it worth his while, but he doesn't go beyond that. So we're, and that only helps the consumer. That only helps us on the back end. Uh, he, he doesn't charge and, you know, he could easily charge, uh, 150 bucks for this and these materials, but he doesn't. Let's bring out another Pennsylvania natives product here, issuing stitches, Bobby over there. Uh, he makes these Hanks and they are phenomenal down in my description. I have his Etsy store linked along with a coupon code capital G ball. Uh, will get you 10% off your order. It is down in the description, and that is awesome. This knife is going to carry very nicely in the pocket there, nice and deep. You'll have just a tiny, tiny bit poking out there. The retention on the clip is absolutely solid there, so good job on the clip. You know, I, I don't mind wire clips so much. It's not that I mind them. They work functionally. Uh, this is, you know, for function purposes, this is the way to go. It's lightweight. It's able to keep the retention really nicely. It's uh, ergonomic. And it's aesthetically all right. Um, now, with that being said, do I prefer the wire clip over like a milled clip? No, not really. But I get it. And, I, and it keeps the price a little bit lower than going with a milled clip here. Now... A milled stonewash clip to match the blade would have been, whoo, baby. But, you know, I'm sure we can get replacements for this. I'm guessing uh, this is compatible with Lynch Northwest, Rips Garage Tech. Now, don't quote me on that. That is something I can find out. Uh, but I'm going to guess that's the same pattern that Lynch Northwest, Rips Garage Tech use for the Spyderco wire pocket clip replacement. Uh, but we can find that out perfectly centered out of the box. As I mentioned before, the detent is snappy as all hell. This thing is breaking in right before our very eyes. Nice little shaker. Uh, this thing will drop to your thumb and then just one light little shake will send it home. And that's a lightweight blade, guys. So nice and smooth in there. Detent is money. Shoo. You can hear it positively click in there. Why don't we go ahead and we'll check that edge and see what that guy's coming like. It feels nice and thin and it comes down. The blade stock is already pretty thin uh, and that comes down nice and thin. I wonder what that blade stock is. 
I bet it's down around a hundred thousands, maybe. Ooh, yeah, yeah, she is. Wow, buddy. That is TRM Adam Thin right there. So, yeah, I knew my eyes weren't deceiving me. That is coming down extremely thin behind the edge there. So let's really see what we are working with here. We have a thin piece of magazine paper here. Oh, yeah. Start with the very back and go to the tip. Maybe. You gotta stay out of the choil, guys. Ooh, yeah, that just wants to bite. Man, that is satisfying as all hell. Definitely came with a very nice edge. So the last thing we typically check is for lockup and how that is sitting. Uh, looks pretty good. I would say that's about 30, 25% or so there. So it's pretty early. There is no movement up or down and no movement side to side. There's the S90V. Uh, it blends in so well. CPM S90V for our steel. We'll go ahead. We're not going to get the spine whacker out. I've never had an issue with an asher. So let's just give it a couple taps on the hardwood table here. Not a plastic table, guys. This is a hardwood table with a hard surface on top of it. We'll hit the middle here. And we'll give it one more for good measure. Yeah, this thing is solid as can be. There is more proof that you can have early lockup and still maintain a good amount of strength in there. And this thing is absolutely solid from tip to butt. Another absolute home run from Justin at Asher Knives. This thing is amazing. Another thing to keep in mind, guys, is this knife could only be gotten through the newsletter. If you are not signed up for the newsletter for this knife, you probably had no idea it was even dropping. Uh, the only way to access the knife was through the link in the newsletter. So make sure I will link the website down below. If you are not subscribed to the newsletter, I highly recommend going over there and signing up for it because he does awesome knives like this at a very affordable price. And sometimes that is the only way that you can get to them. For instance, I tried to go over and just type in the website and go and pick it up. I could not do that. I had to go through the link in the newsletter. So that is something to keep in mind. Definitely worth subscribing to the newsletter. That way you know what is coming, when it's coming, all that sort of thing. And if he has a drop like this, that's a limited drop. You can have the link and the ability to go pick one up. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments what you think of this knife. Do you have any Ashers yourself? Are you looking to pick up an Asher? Make sure you hit that thumbs up button before you head out. If you're new here, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. We release new videos every single day, typically twice a day. We would love to have you here. I'll throw up a couple new videos here, here, and here. Go check one of them out, and I will catch you guys on the next one.